to start, read the article and follow the steps of the official Windows Blogs page in order to have Amazon Store running in your device. To recap, your PC needs to be on Windows 11 Build 22000 and meet official hardware requirements. Enable virtualization for your PC's BIOS or UEFI. Make sure you're running an updated Microsoft Store version. Your PC's region must be set to the US. You must be in the beta channel of Windows Insider. You will also need to have a US-based Amazon account. After everything is set up, click on the link in order to install Amazon Store. Your device might restart in order to complete the procedure. When you open Amazon Store app, you'll realize currently available apps are very limited, and the ones like WhatsApp or Twitter are missing. The majority of apps are just games targeted to kids. In order to install apps outside of Amazon Store, open Windows Subsystem for Android. It will open the settings. Find Developer Mode and enable it. After doing this, it will show that ADB can be connected. ADB is the Android debug bridge and it's part of SDK platform tools. You will need it in order to proceed. Download SDK Platform Tools for Windows on developer.android.com. After downloading it, extract the zip contents. Open Windows Subsystem for Android again, and take note of the IP and port that appear near the option that enables developer mode. In our case, it's 127.0.0.1.58526. Now enter Platform Tools folder you've just extracted, and find ADB executable. Open Command Prompt inside this folder. To connect ADB to the Android subsystem, use the command ADB connect, followed by the IP and port you've taken note previously. If everything went well, it should say it's connected to the IP and port you had specified. Now you are ready to install new apps from installation files. In this example, we will install WhatsApp. To do it, use the command ADB install, followed by the full path to the installation file. Success indicates the app was installed successfully. To find installed apps, go to Start. And here it is, our first app was installed outside of Amazon Store. You can repeat the procedure to install new apps. If some app doesn't launch, try opening Windows Subsystem for Android and turn it off.
It will automatically launch again when you try to open an app. Some apps might not work at all, like this version of YouTube that requires Google Play services. You can find installation files in sites like apkmirror.com. Here, we will download and install the United Airlines app. Some apps allow resizing the window, like this one. It's also possible to open multiple apps. And that concludes this tutorial. See you next time.